these ancient pillars of Hercules. Mainstream will tell you they only have to do with a couple of pillars that were erected at the Strait of Gibraltar and nothing more. Now, this squatter man sometimes shown without those two dots and sometimes with it is our original Hercules and two pillars and it is that so called God self icon found around the world personified god or goddess with the two. Now these pillars of Hercules used to be called the pillars of Kronos, aka the pillars of Saturn. And we are told that Saturn gave warning prior to the flood and then was suddenly removed They referred to lost Atlantis as that great Saturnian continent. They called the Atlantic Ocean, Cronium Mare, the Sea of Saturn. These are those pillars of Saturn personified Taurus field. Taurus field personified as a god. They speak of that goddess and the hill in which she dwelt all around that cosmic hill and bringing two streams of water causing them to ascend as springs that original solar temple in the northern skies with those two great columns. All the manifestations of that cosmic mountain and its evolution under Saturn. Here at Pumapunku, I don't think they are holding two Stargate keys. I think they are simply holding the two. And this cosmic mountain becoming under attack. They speak of thousands of chariots being destroyed in a single blast of light, and the charred remains of humans in the thousands, now all but unrecognizable. And Hercules, surrounded by the fiery element, 
breaking through the thickening gloom of the Pralian twilight amidst the conflagration bringing on the death of our sun our Saturn's sun. Wearing those different aspects on their heads. That central God with the two. In Borneo, the headhunting Dayak tribe also retained it. Just like the Dogon tribe in Africa. And the Dayak said the symbol of the squatter man means the tree of life. Another aspect of this Taurus field by one group of people was claimed to be the menorah seen on the mountain of God. Now they claim that the devil has horns. Testament, God's original name was El, and he is associated with Kronos, Anu, Saturn, and he most definitely also has horns. just as Moses does. And El allegedly wanted those horns on his altar so that you could see his two horns no matter what direction you approached. And they speak of the stars of El and his council at the source of the two rivers located on the mountain of El the mountain of Saturn. These are the stars of El that have fallen. And they used to blaze in the northern sky. concentric circles someone once said Atlantis was probably never more than an island in the clouds as above so below they attempted to recreate what they saw in the skies. A 
often placing the red Mars in the center. That cyclone that ascended and swept up into heaven. between the two. These are some of the books that I used to make this video. If you want to have a look for yourself and learn about Hyperion Sun of Earth and Sky. Because light is life, and insofar as life is also light, it is imperishably eternal. Have a great day, guys.